Hey there, YouTube. My name is Tyler, and I am Mr. Game and Beer. Welcome back to Let's Play Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition Co-op with John and Jason, and featuring special guest Wesley. I'm Howdy. still a special Hello. guest. Yeah. Hello. All right. Ready. So what? Uh, oh yeah. Did we go in this cave already? Yeah, totally. We had no business being in there. I remember the, those beetles, though. Oh, no, the, the beetles giant beetles. Really did not yes. like the pale man at all. Okay. Nobody does. Bitches. Nobody does. I like them. They were definitely not bitches. Did somebody have a gem bag? Uh, gem. No. I do. I oh, John. John does. I right. am filled with other things. Then do. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm gonna stop. I just sent them to somebody. I don't remember who. But. Who is okay? John's red little red riding guy. Yeah. Little red riding crop. What's your problem? <laughs> We've already been in there, Mr. Dwarf. Oh yeah, I'm just taking a quick peek. See. Okay. That was where uh, the ogre's head hurt. Yes. Uh, so we're going to the right now, correct? Why are you turning right? Around? Left. <laughs> no, left is where we came from. Yeah. There's. I was there's just saying left in response fog of war to right. Over here, guys. I think we go this way. John, stop. You're not. Medi you're not the tank in this game. You're metagaming, and you're tanking. You're a wizard. <laughs> you're meta tanking. Yeah, <laughs> a wizard, Harry. He's a sorcerer. That's actually. not how Hagrid sounds. <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I never watched. Yeah, you're a wizard. Yeah, I never wizard. watched Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch Star Trek. <laughs> Whoa! No, look I at this. Lord of the Rings, but not Holy Wizard. shit! Our first this map. Nice. Fancy. Look at that big dragon skull down there. Hope we don't get bit by that thing. Look Let's at that thing it. way down in the forest. The little barnacle or something. Ah yes, the forest barnacle. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. To Kaldahar then? Yeah, let's I go to Kaldahar. To Kaldahar. Options. Fighting their way through the goblin-infested valley of the past, Shut up. the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kaldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass, and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. Oh, yum. Salted pork. Also, doomed party. I think we kind of wrecked that adventure. Yeah, salted totally. Pork. Is that the name of this kid? Doomed party? No. No, I thought the name of the kid was Salted Pork. That's Nate. That's unfortunate. He's nowhere near as good mm -hmm. as Salted Pork. He'll never yeah, be yeah. Salted Pork. <laughs> can I party? Can our party name be Salted Pork? Oh, totally. Yeah, man. Nice. Uh, nice. Delay. Let's turn that down. How's that? Still too long. Give me a sec here, guys. It's too long. Uh, you know what's too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stop right there. Don't take another step closer. Who are you? How did you get through the pass? <laughs> I mean, no harm. What's wrong? We've had some troubles of late, and now we've got strangers in town that shouldn't have been able to make through the pass. Care to explain how you got here? Mm. Mm. Hold your tongue. I have some questions about this town, and I would have you answer first. Damn, John. Take your questions elsewhere, stranger, if you'll get no answers from me. You watch yourself in this town. If you cross anyone, we'll see to it you don't leave. Holy fuck. Wow. Why you stupid bitch? <laughs> I knew you'd make it through. I just knew it. <laughs> well, hooray for you. Now get out of my way, kid. Jeez. <laughs> hey, man, we've had a long adventure. We don't have time for these commoners. I mean, crap, guys. <laughs> Sorry, we're just hey. a little on edge. <clears throat> what is this sound? This wind? Well, by the hells, I wasn't expecting any new faces in Kaldahar with the pass. Passes being what they are. You from East Haven? How did you get through? Um, hold your tongue. I have some questions about this town. I would have you answer first. What did you want to know about Kaldahar? Or did you want? Did you want to know what's been going around? Holy <laughs> shit! Been going on around Kaldahar. Hmm. I need to find Archdude Kaldahar of Kaldahar. Where is he? The Archdruid Kaldahar of Kaldahar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Archdruid of Kaldahar? 
Friend, there is no Archdruid of Kaldahar. Mm -hmm. I hope you didn't travel through the past to find one, else your journey has been in vain. Is there anyone, another druid perhaps, that might know of us for certain? Well, there's old Arundel. Oh. Seen him talking to birds, but we figured that he was, well, a little touched in the head. Could be he knows where you'd find that druid. Touched Arundel, they call him. <laughs> Meow. Where is this house of this Arundel? Southwest section of town. There's a two-story house embedded into the tree. It looks like a big stone wall with a door. That's Arundel's house. It's just southeast of the Kaldahar Run, east of the bridge. There's a dude right there. Is it right there? <laughs> There's a dude in town that talks to birds and lives in a tree, and you don't think he's a druid? He's just touched, don't They you? don't know he's that touched. he's a druid. He's a little touched. Okay, well, <laughs> Idiot. Can neither confirm nor deny druid status. Oh, every conversation readjusts my... Yeah, that's a Rundle's helm right there. Yeah, I hate that, right? When it brings up your stupid thing. Was it doing that before? Yeah, mine was. Everybody gather. Found a guy named Girth. Who are we missing? Okay, fudge it. <laughs> where, the, where are you? Ah, all the place. <laughs> where so the wind blows, travelers seek shelter and supplies may help. Good day and cheer to you, sir. My name is Girth. Mm. I tell you by the cut of, I can tell by the cut of your cloth and your bearing that you are a visitor, fresh to Kaldahar. Is there something you wish to purchase? Perhaps. May I see what you have for sale? No. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, this May is... I see what you have? Crazy noises going on. Yeah, yeah just, the I'm ambient just, music just, and sound effects are just like... I'm spooked. Spooky. I'm super spooked. Why are they so loud? I don't hear nothing. Oh yeah, there were strangers in town, but I didn't believe it. You from East Haven? How'd you get through? We were part of an expedition from East Haven, but not all of us made it. Guys, well, I for your cold fallen comrades. What happened? The pass is snowed in, and to make things worse, there's a horde of creatures in the pass, mostly goblins and orcs. I doubt any caravans will be through for quite some time. Not his grim news indeed. <laughs> I fear things here in Calder are not much better. You may yes. wish you'd stayed in East Haven. I must take my leave. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> That shop sucks. Farewell. Agreed. What do you expect with the pass closed, Jason? Yeah, what do you oh, wow. expect? I figured he'd want some battle axes. With the pass closed. <laughs> Did he not? Did he? No. Well, who do we sell our battle axes to? I don't fucking know. I guess the inscription upon now. this stone statue reads, oh, In memory of the archdruid <laughs> Tolbin, founder of Kaldahar. Yeah, Wait. there's no druid here. I might turn down my ambient sounds. Who's a druid? <laughs> I had to already. We have like the market cornered on mundane low level weaponry right now. Yeah, totally. shit you have to sell. Just go person to person. You want a battle axe? I'm trying to find <laughs> a blacksmith or something. Oh. Run, the Run. Veil. Oh, you got a was? Run! The veil's filled with yetis. <laughs> Try to outrun them, but two of them still chasing me. Run! Get help! Oh, Where shit. are they? Where are you? Uh, over to the right. Pirates. Get a little touched. Yeah, Mark's a little touched. Oh, yes. Yetis! Oh, shit. <laughs> if only somebody had warned yetis. us. <laughs> are Yetis evil? Here. Mm. Right. Probably. I, I can confirm they're uninjured. I mean, they're abominable. As long as it's not a pretend to go. What a spooky guy. He's so spooked. Quarters. Look at how spooked he is. Nah. Sorry, I'm getting a little pause happy. <laughs> happy pause. Aww. Just have it from your solo playthrough of Baldur's Gate. Oh yeah, my god. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> Jeez. Watch out, John. He was scared. I don't know why he started wailing on me. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm gonna punch this guy. Yeah. Put that yeti down. Oh, look yeah, at those sweet. levels up. We got hey, three. All right. Oh yeah, pale man. He's so good. Wait, maybe didn't we didn't pick go more spells? Oh, into sorry. that cave yet. No, we did. Oh no, we saved after for sure. Okay, cool. Because the pale man, I thought though. he was gonna level up in there. Yeah, he had died the first time, and uh, Scrimshaw leveled up from the fight there. But then, since Batman didn't die the second time, Scrimshaw didn't get his level. I think, realistically, he died like three times. In yeah, that, I think somebody saves. somebody died every time. Mm. And we reloaded like five times. 
Yeah, it, it does not matter. We vanquish the Yetis and venture onwards. Sure, well, I mean... I don't know. There's uh, This bridge over here goes to the right some more. But uh, now we're not so healthy. Do we need to go no, talk to... No, that's the Veil of Shadows. Everybody oh. else is healthy. Oh, no, you're not. Never mind. Nope. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got bonked. Oh, John, let me... Let me soothe your wounds. Mm. Both of you. Mm. Oh, yeah, they are doing uh, bonus damage. Well, you guys didn't pick up the Yeti pelts? Come on. Okay, oh, I didn't come actually on. see the bubbles. Hey, guys, I found a tavern. Yeah? Yes! All right. Don't move, Wesley. We're not going to talk to Arundel. I'm on it. Oh, what do you think is more important, Arundel or beer? Nice. Yeah. He Coffee. I think he might have free beer for us. Maybe. I found the potter. Coffee. You guys are finding all the shit I already found. Hey, a back blacksmith. A back blacksmith. Hey. Uh, blacksmith. You didn't find the tavern, John. Don't get blacksmith. all uppity on me. It was me. uncovered. It was not. Room. It was. You guys stop. Welcome, Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? This isn't over, John. Um. I'm interested in purchasing some weapons. Weapons. <laughs> Could you point me in the right direction, sirrah? <laughs> Jeez. Name's Conlon. I'm the local smithy of these parts. If you're needing a sharp blade or stout mace, I'm the man to see. Let's take advantage while I'm still here. Alright then. What do you have for sale? Let me show you. <laughs> I'll buy all my crap, <laughs> bud. If I initiate a conversation while you're in a menu, does that fuck shit up? Oh, I don't know no. for Icewind Dale. You don't. Well, I can't get to him because you're blocking the way anyways. <laughs> Real pale, considerate. Now I hate the pale man. <laughs> um, BT dubs. Whoa, this guy has a freaking plus four weapon? What? Yeah, fuck! Oh, I plus... passed down from his mother's mother. How much is it? Plus three weapons, too. Jesus oh my god. Like 50,000. Mm, so uh, should <laughs> so I just cool. start? Should we just start chucking stuff on you since you're trading with them? Uh, no. Okay. Um, the axes and small shields sell for one, so I just went ahead and sold those. The short bows, however, sell for six. So whoever has the highest ch charisma should be uh, selling those, which I believe That's is John. John. I'll just <laughs> sell my one gold stuff first. He's the charisma tard. I also well, have almost a full charisma inventory, tech. so don't throw things at me. You're too far away. One, really? Oh, Namfoodle's outside. Oh, he's at the tavern. <laughs> Namfoodle. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Namfoodle. These Yeti belts know. are gonna fetch a pretty penny. Don't even know how he orders a beer. From under the bar, probably. <laughs> All right, get in there, John. No, oh, I will. You have some Yeti pelts. Just give me a second. I gotta sell all these short bows. Oh, I still got more for you there, bud. Okay, don't pick up short bows ever. <laughs> or battle axes. Just stop. Battle axes is fine. Short bows, I think we can. Uh, battle axes are like worth a... one gold. Yeah, yeah I know. battle axes are. Yeah, normal. as in don't pick up battle axes or yeah. small shields. But short, short bows are worth six. Yeah. That's, uh, that's and money, baby. Look at how many we're selling. Except, okay. uh, but the, like if you sell them in different increments, then you don't make as much money. I'm sure it won't decrease that much, considering it's only six. Anyway, three of your shit on me. Shit is thrown. <clears throat> is like going? half as much now. What's the point? Throw some shit at me. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> it sucks hey, anyway. Do you guys think Let's this guy it. can see me back here? I'll block the door. You can try. John's distracting him. John, whenever you're done, I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> The Eddie Pelt sold for 50. Alright. The was still sell for 6. Hmm. Oh, the Eddie Pelt's sold for 50 for me, too. I don't think there's a uh, disparity for Charisma. Oh, that's okay. too good. Oh, it might be the party leader, actually. Mm. John, you're the new party leader. Congratulations what? on your recent promotion. Doesn't matter, I already uh, sold everything. Yeah, I mean, for the future. Fuck. You're okay. so pessimistic. <laughs> okay, quick save. Agreed. I failed to force it. Do we not have a thief? I'm a thief. Yeah, the pale man's a thief. What the f? Why are you forcing the brigand? Them? Because I've got 19 strength. That's the equivalent to like 45 or 50 lockpick. Hmm. 
I've got 60 lockpick and I can't do shit. Ah. So yes, we have two inept thieves. <laughs> oh, that's good. The uh, pale man's more of a sneak thief Brutus. anyway. Look at that. We have, we have one inept thief and one in, in inept brutish thief wannabe. A uh, fighter thief? Please. <laughs> Same thing. Fighter what? Thief. thief. Failure. <laughs> oh, fighter failure. <laughs> fighter flight. Oh, a potter. Yeah, I found him that way. What luck? I'm following you, John. I don't know why. Yeah, I want to go to Arendelle. She's the party leader now. Move this shit along. Agreed. Why Get away from them food why in, ass. in such a hurry? This place just needs spooky house noises. Because this place is noisy, <laughs> and I don't like it. Well, I think this is like the hub. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, let's get out of here! Oh, oh no. Why don't you just turn off ambient sounds? Because I like ambient awesome. sound. I just don't like loud ambient sound. Why don't you turn it way the fudge down? It is way the fudge down. Don't bother going in there, dwarf. The guy's got nothing good. Don't tell me what to do. Suck on my dick. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Any day now. Ready. There we go. Welcome. I've been expecting you for some time now. Oh. Mmm. Who are you, old man? I am Arendelle, known to some as the Archduet of Kaldahar. Though I invite you to dispense with the formalities and just call me Arendelle, plain and simple. Titles tend only to serve one's own vanity and aren't really of much use in this small mountain community. Mmm. Very well. Tell me, Arundel, do you know anything about the reports of disturbances in these mountains? Yes. It was I who sent Hallister to East Haven for help. His death weighs heavily upon my conscience. For not only was he a student of mine, but he was also a friend and trusted companion. He will be missed. As will Rothgar and the other members of your expedition. Who, who is Hallister? Um... Uh, uh. <laughs> I assume he went for help, but I don't think we... And I know we missed a lot in the first town. Do you know about the avalanche? Oh, yes. I know. I also know that it was no accident. Someone or something did not want your party to reach Kaldahar. It's Saruman! Yeah. That was Frost <laughs> Giants. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I'd already said that. What's going on here, old man? There are malevolent forces at work in these mountains. Malevolent. Forces that seek to undermine the delicate balance we druids have struggled to preserve for centuries. Look, why don't you just cease with your tedious ramblings and philosophies of nature and just tell me who's behind all this nonsense? Oh, what did I could? Rude. The <laughs> face of the evil remains hidden, but its presence is unmistakable. All about us, there are signs of its damaging influence on the balance. The unnatural weather, the recent rash of abductions, the numerous monster sightings in the past. Abductions? These all point towards something sinister. Even the animals sense something is amiss. Yeah, like Wes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me more about these disturbances? I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? Uh, tell me about the monster I'm sightings. I'm sure you have noticed by now. There seems to be quite a few goblins about. It is not usual to see so many of their kind roaming the mountains so late in the year. It is all on them out of their holes, like carrion birds drawn to the scent of death. As if the goblins weren't enough, several giants have been spotted moving through the pass in groups as large as ten. That many giants traveling together in the <laughs> indicates they Jesus are Jesus Christ, a fucking throng of giants. Purpose. I have watched their activities closely. Their tracks trace a deliberate pattern through the mountains, almost as if they were on patrol. Patrol? Another thing. While I was out scouting the giants, I discovered other sets of tracks, tracks I have never encountered before. Oh. What manner of beast made them? I could not say. Much spook. Uh, I see, so what are we to do about all this? I fear that if we do not soon discover the source of these disturbances, then all that we have worked for will be destroyed. 
The evil that has come to these mountains infects this town like a disease. As its people suffer, so does the tree suffer. From the Is that all you're worried about? The balance, corrupting it with its very presence. And he's a druid. Already, yeah. The circle of warmth that tree. radiates from the great yeah, it is. has begun to recede. No. We, to we gotta the save the great Deku tree. Farmsteads as a result of the shrine's fading power. If we do not take action soon, I am afraid that the life-giving warmth will cease altogether. Both the great oak and the town nestled within its roots will die. This must not happen. We need your help. Hmm. 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 What? Help you? I don't think so, old man. I'm only interested in getting out of these miserable mountains alive. Understood? I understand. But the circumstances leave you little choice but to get involved. I needn't oh, remind we'll see. you that the avalanche that wiped out your expedition, the one that you were fortunate to survive, has blocked the way back to the ten towns. As I mentioned before, the pass south has been entirely snowed in. There is no other way out of this valley. Your fate and the fate of Kaldahar are intertwined. You must discover the source of the disturbances and restore the balance, or we shall all perish together. Uh. If saving my own skin means helping you out, then that's what I will do. But get one thing straight. I wouldn't give two coppers for you, your town, or your precious balance. I mean, stay alive, one way or another. Jesus. I, suggest you begin I call for a vote for a new party leader. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it is a place not far from here. Darkness has always clung to the floor of the small canyon, as if the light of the sun itself were wary of the place. I'd sacrifice any one of you to get out of here alive. There are a number of ancient crypts hidden within the shadows of the Vale's narrow cliff walls. There have been rumors of the dead awakening and emerging from their dusty tombs to walk once more amongst men. If these rumors are true, then I suspect oh God. that he whatever talks is responsible for disturbing their slumber may be behind this is the an RPG? disturbances as well. Man. Chatty Go to the Vale of Shadows. Learn what you can about the happenings there, then return here, and we shall discuss a course of action. Of course, Good luck. of action. And farewell. Yeah, I think the pale man I was a much better party leader. Happy. <laughs> Second. I nominate Fernusha. <laughs> Fernusha's a bitch. To Fernusha be fair, is a babe. Fernusha. My character She's got is got 16 charisma, and she evil? doesn't <laughs> bitch out everyone we meet. Yeah, but he's not lawful stupid. You mean lawful a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only in this for myself, and I'll use any means to get out of it, as long as it follows the law. It's <laughs> okay. not. Alright. Oh, okay. Whatever you... <laughs> Alright, yeah. You do you, Mr. Kemmer. Oh, uh, dude, you're so gold. gold. Fernusha, you're so gold. Gold. She is awfully gold. Girl, I think that's studded leather, though. You gold in my ass. She got, uh, splint mail, but she just looks silver at me. Ah, uh, she go. Oh, we forgot to talk to this guy after saving his life. <laughs> Thanks! Hey. I oh. thought the time to join me ancestors had finally come. Last time I ever stepped foot anywhere near the Vale, that's for certain. There's all sorts of strange creatures roaming around there now. Vale? Are you over there? Oh yeah, you are. Vale of Shadows. I don't see Brother you. Silas and I made a pilgrimage there to pay our respects to our family crypt, like we so do every year, but this time... I don't know, the Vale seems... different. Cursed somehow. The shadows have come alive and there's yetis roaming the paths, tracked and scrapped about. about. <laughs> Coist! Your brother, where is he? Silas didn't make it. The largest yeti I've ever seen tore out, the shadows, tore out the snow and took a piece out of him with his claws. He fell dead as a stone, blood everywhere. There, there's nothing I could do. He was carrying our family heirloom, but it's lost now. Not if I butcher that large yeti that killed your brother. But that way wouldn't be an easy or cheap task. <laughs> I should have read that whole thing first. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one I would have picked. If you would be willing to go into the Vale and find that heirloom, I'd pay you for your trouble. I'll do it then. Tell me how to get to the Vale of Shadows. We were taking the main path, but considering how many beasts were in the Vale, Arundel might know a safer path that you can take. He wanders the mountains quite a bit and knows more of hidden trails than there are branches on the Great Oak. 
His home is southwest of the Great Tree. It's the two-story house made out yeah, of stone. Yeah, 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 we know. I already spoke to Iron <laughs> I'll be on my way to the Vale soon. Thank you. Now that Silas is gone, that heirloom is all I have left to remember my family by. I would appreciate its safe return. Also, if you come across any more yetis, you might want to collect their pelts once you've done away with the beasts. Connell and the backsmith here in town buys the pelts for a fair price. Fitty gold. Oric may be able to make something out of those pelts, too. Ooh. Farewell. Probably hide armor. Like a I chump. Yeti hide armor. <laughs> it's yeti hide. Uh, so hey, is there much. anything else we want to do in town? Yeah, What's but we here? want to stay at the take end, a nap. Maybe? Yeah, probably take a nap. I want to check out Over what's up here. Over our spelly wells. We do not have spelly Who wells. Is this? this is a serious adventuring Brother party. Brother Ferg. Have you guys rescinded oh. my party leader status? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. come on. I don't know if that means anything. Greetings, weary traveler. Are you in need of aid? Uh, out of my way, you pious little toe. <laughs> Even I wouldn't have picked that one. <laughs> I'm the servant of Ilmeter. It is, it is my lot to suffer the indignities and persecution of others. Your intolerance serves only to strengthen my faith. For that I thank <laughs> Farewell. Jeez. Hello again, <laughs> friend. How can I be of service to you? <laughs> oh, man. Do it. Oh. Do it. He liked it. <laughs> Give me another one. You'd serve me best by staying out of my way, you miserable wench. <laughs> Wretch. <laughs> but he is a wench, uh, too. That same thing I just said. Do it again. Uh, no, greetings, brother. Bird. Could you again. tell me more? No, no now I'll say nothing. Of course. What services in particular? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Where are you, where are you all going? Uh, Brother Gus is in here, and Sister Kaliana. That sounds boring. <laughs> sounds like a temple. Fuck sure temples. Does. Ooh, I want to go to one of those. <laughs> but um, Tish. Is this guy got a crossbow on the other side of the bar? Yep. Just wow. polishing it. Ernst the Potter. Ernst, 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 Ernst. Welcome, traveler. May I be of service to you? I would like to ask you some questions. I will help you if I can. What would you like to know? Is that a girl? Yeah. Oh, my bad. No, it's not. It's a dude. No, it's a lady. It's, it's a blue dress. Talking to oh, her. the blue boobs. dress. I thought it was the bartender. <laughs> yeah, I thought so as well. Who are you? I'm Lysan, the barmaid. <laughs> if I may be of service to you, you need but ask. Wink. What do you do here, Lysan? As I said, I'm a barmaid. I help take care of the customers, serve food, drinks, chat with folks, and listen to what they have to say. You learn a lot if you take the time to listen. Have you heard any rumors you can share with me? Well, I hear tales. Folks have been talking about recent avalanche, the haunted vale, missing folks, monsters, and Arendelle. A haunted vale? That sounds interesting. Most folks call it the Vale of Shadows. It's always dark there, like twilight or moonlight night. Moonlit night. Anyway, there are those who say spirits of the dead wander the veil, blah blah blah. Folks don't go there anymore. They're afraid to. Maybe someone should do something about it. I would like to hear more about the missing people. <laughs> are you trolling me? Hi, <laughs> folks have been missing without a trace. I recall something about a man's wife gone missing. He packed up and left his home and all to go find her. Another is the smithy's young son. You might want to talk to him if you have an interest. I believe you said monsters were of concern. Are there a problem here? I saw a subject, that one. It seems they're on the rise lately. More monsters are spotted in the surrounding countryside every day. Orcs, goblins, you know the you like. You can't just call has people worried. orcs and goblins monsters. That's <laughs> Someone not, at half work? That's not <laughs> right. <laughs> mm, I will take my leave of you now. Farewell. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. It's just not right. You know? Keep your damn horses stabled. I'll get to you in a moment. Hey, what's this? Some sort of majory? Um, excuse me? Ha! I'm just surprised to see a new face in Coldahar is all. Thought I'd never see another customer. The past buried in snow as it is. You must be looking for something fierce to brave the winter's chill like that. Uh, I'm looking for a room for the night. A fierce room, you say? <laughs> well, you're in and out of luck. We don't have any rooms, but that pug knows knee high at the evening shade. Aldwin has some rooms for Jeez. let, if you're interested. 
Better hope you have enough coin, though. I doubt a pile of gold would be enough for that copper-clenching mole. Implied racism. <laughs> I take it you don't like halflings. It's nothing to do with him being a half-man. If so, then most of Kaldahar would be guilty. It's his manner. That ill-mannered excuse for a gunny sack came into ownership of that inn recently, and it's a queer thing how he did it, too. How so? Well, the previous innkeeper, Aiden, is one of the folks who's gone missing of late. Thing is, he's the only one that seems to know he was going missing, because he left a claim on who to pass the inn onto in case he needed to be put to sleep with a shovel. Go on. Mm. Then, barely a day after he's gone, Alduin shows up like a winter wolf out of the fresh fallen snow, with a claim in his paws and sets up shop pretty as he plays. Hmm. Sounds like he's pulling a swindle. Uh, not that I would know anything about swindles. Maybe I should poke around in the evening shade a little, see what I can find. Can you tell me anything else? Well, I knew Aiden, and the fool was right enough fellow, but he had the palsy so bad he couldn't even write his own name, much less a claim. And that's even if he was in the know about his letters, which he wasn't. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Thanks, Amelia. You've been very helpful. <laughs> Chick. Yeah, I thought so. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, I knew it was. Just pretend it's like a thick, Scottish, rough <laughs> woman. Something. And if it's a meal you're after, tell that filthy, goateed wine spider squatting behind the bar to stop drinking the stock and fire up the oven. But you'd best shout. He's too deep in his cups to hear you if you talk civilized like. Very well, then. I'll go speak to the barkeep. Wine spider. <laughs> Should we go to the evening shade, then? Yeah, I guess so. Where the crap is that? It sounds poisonous. Uh, yeah, right. It is... Evening oh, shade. I found it. North. I found it first. We gotta go down by the potter. Potter? By the potter. Ernst. Ernst the potter. You're lucky this time, potter. Ernst. 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 <laughs> is that a Harry Potter reference or a wonderful Ernst? life reference? No, the... <laughs> you're lucky this time, potter. I think that might be a wonderful life. Oh, what you're gonna you just know, buy people, Mr. Potter. Yeah. <laughs> what you are? You're just a big bitch, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're a bitch and you'd no, like to he's... suck it, wouldn't you? Whoa, Alduin's a thief. <laughs> Alduin's a thief? You can tell by his garb. Yeah, no, we knew that already because he Meta gaming. merged a uh, thing. What? No, we don't. We didn't know that. We were just going off of somebody's yeah. word. We knew it. Yeah. You looking for a room or you just want to let the chill in? I got no rooms for stragglers. Show some coin, or I'll show you the door. You old one? Yeah, maybe. Do I know you? Amelia, the barmaid of the root cellar, mentioned you. She said you bought this in from a man named Aiden. Before he vanished, that is. Amelia? That dried-up serving wench with the voice like a harpy? Yeah, I know her. Oh. And she's right did buy this place from Aiden, and I'm beginning to see why the old Dodger wanted to sell his inn and vanish right quick. Why? Well, he stuck me with this hole and not much business to be had. When he's chalked off all the passes, so that means no caravans and no business. I hope old Aiden got buried in a snowdrift or used a chew bone by an ogre. Hmph. <laughs> anyway, the claim's mine, so I gotta make it do. Aiden wrote the claim to you? Yeah, written in pen and ink, legally binding. Every I dot and every T cross for any fool to see, so... Well, Aiden had palsy, but you knew that, right? So if this claim was written to you, of course, assuming that Aiden knew how to write, which he didn't, then the script would hardly be as perfectly written as you say. Yeah, well, old Aiden had, must have had someone write it for him, then, because everything looks in order to me. It's not unheard of to have others write claims for you. All I know is the claim's mine. I do what you want. Do you want a room or not? If not, then get out. Never mind then. I want a room. Are there any free? Yeah, we Those got some space free, left. Tyler. I don't want to hear any haggling over the prices you hear. It's the only inn in town, so I don't even be thinking you'll find a better deal anywhere else. This you're in? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Somebody in town say different. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, just curious. Do you have any rooms free? 
Yeah, we got a little space left, but I don't want to hear any haggling over the prices, you hear? Uh. in town, so don't be even thinking you'll find a better deal elsewhere. Let me see your rims. <laughs> what are the prices? 15 gold for a noble. What a jerk. What was peasant? I didn't even check. Jeez. Oh, it's you again. What do you want? Three. Are we That's going upstairs? The price, the price. Yeah, we're going upstairs. Yeah, we're making our money back. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'm we had a sorry. paladin. I'm on it. <laughs> I almost made a paladin, but then. No, guys, stop it. That's <laughs> unlawful. <laughs> I already stole a necklace. Aiden's legacy ring. What's that? Ooh. It's his legacy. Duh. Simple silver ring bears an inscription on the interior. It looks like the inscription was carved there by an expert silversmith. To the people of Kaldahar, should evening fall upon me and my life be no more, I leave the evening shade to you. Please care for her as I did. Oh, I did the last of the line of Kavon. Done. Gee, a lot wait. for a ring to say. Done. Yeah, no kidding. Who the fudge do we talk to that about? Here, all right. I'm gonna confront this douche. Yeah, let's talk to this little dick. Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? Found a ring in one of the upper rooms you might be interested in. Eh, what? This ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to his inn. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Oh, so now you're stooped to force your way into locked containers in people's houses, have you? Before you accuse me of doing anything wrong, maybe you should look to yourself. What are you doing breaking and entering? Oh, so you knew it was locked upstairs. Uh, no. No, I didn't, no, because it was locked upstairs. Look, I don't have to explain anything. <laughs> I think you're supposed to cut him off, Tyler. Look, you sniveling little dog. I'm tired of hearing your lies and your blustering. I could kill you where you stand and claim this in as mine and never feel a shred of remorse. Now tell me the truth, or I'll set you outside until you freeze, then carve you like an ice block. Tyler, we have similar, similar goals. Hold on, hold on. Here's what happened. First off, I never laid a hand on Aiden. So Aiden is dead. Well, yeah. But it's not my fault. I come into the inn one night after barely making my way through Kaldahar Pass, see, and there he is, lying on the floor of the inn, cold as stone. Now, I've been through the pass before, even talked with the old fool a bit. I don't know, he didn't have a family. What do you do with the body? There had been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then, well, dug up some pen and ink and set up the claim. Granted, I stripped him of his belongings, and I should not have thrown away that damn ring, but look, I'm not doing any harm. He didn't have any family. This town needs an inn. So why did you do it? You probably won't be able to sell this place, you know. The storm season closes off the caravan routes too often to turn any profit. I know, it's just that... I don't know. I'm sick of traveling. I suddenly got the urge to settle. Blame the halfling in me, I suppose. At least I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified mole burrow and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Well, it's good you didn't hurt Aiden. You shouldn't have hid the body and falsified the claim. There were people here that probably knew him and cared for him, and they would have liked to have paid their respects. Besides, as Aiden's ring states, the inn belongs to Kaldahar, not you. What you did was wrong. Yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, it seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks of a thief, and by my reckoning, that puts us about the same level. Fair enough. Nonetheless, I want you to speak to the town elders and let them know what you've done. If you don't, I will speak to them, and it will be worse for you in the long run. Alright. Hmm. Look, maybe we... I mean, what's to keep me from... Getting out of town? Well, you won't get far. An avalanche has sealed off the pass, and plus there are raiders scouring the mountains. Just confess to the elders. Alright, alright, damn it. I'll go talk to them. Stop bothering me. Very well. I'll be back to check on you, Alden. Fuck off. <laughs> Orders? Fernucha! Goddamn clerics. I think that's probably her fighter level. Yep. Oh, she's a fighter cleric? No. Oh, no, she's just... Right, right. 1,000 and then 2,000. Or no, what? Isn't she level 3 now? Yeah, she is. She yeah, just yeah. leveled up now. 30 health. 1,500 and then... 3,000? What are you talking about? Yeah. Leveling. 
Leveling. Yeah, Priest of Lathander. Here, done. Lathander. Uh, who do we talk to now? I don't know. What's the journal say? Probably just go explore or something. Merrick's yeah. heirloom. Orders, all right. And important mm. events. Um. We could talk to the blacksmith about his son. About his son? Done. His son is missing in the veil. Oh yeah, sure. Let's do that. Why not? Sounds boring, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know. There might be like three thousand quest experience if we find his son's remains. Oh yes, that's true. Or a nice Yeti coat. Oh, my eyes. Right. What up, dog? Nothing. He has nothing to say about it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just find his son's remains and then tell him about it later. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's call this episode here, and then in the next episode we'll head out into the... the Vale. Barons. And the Barons. Lost in the Barons. Alright, thank you guys for watching Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition Co-op, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. See ya. Cheers. I'm having a